Hi, I'm Rob. And I'm Angie. And, and together, together we, we are Twinfinity. Twinfinity. We're Twin Flames back with finally another tangent video. We have not done one of our tangent talks in a long time. And this is why we have above us this one of our pictures. We've, we've just developed a trend over the years of doing our tangent talks in front of this picture. So here we are. So what's our tangent talk about? It is twin flames, opposite or the same. Yeah. We quite often field questions about, oh, my twin flame's just like me, or my twin flame is not like me at all. So we want to talk about this just a little bit. Yeah, because it's kind of confusing. Some people are like, but we're twin flames, we're the same souls, but we're so different. So how can that be? Maybe we're not twin flames. And they often ask us and have a lot of confusion and questions about it. So we're going to explain. We're probably going to start out with our answer first, but then spend the rest of our video trying to justify it. But what I would like to say is, is that I am, I'm quite comfortable with the explanation of why souls exist to begin with. And that was the creator oh, when needed to, to, be able to see itself other than just from itself. So it created splinters of itself, essentially souls, so that it could see itself in action. And yeah. these souls all had slightly different traits. Now, stepping forward into the world of twin flames, uh, if we are one soul that has divided itself into two for the purpose of learning different things, I just use the word different. So I'm going to say that in, in most situations, you're going to find that there is notable differences so that the learning of the soul can be, so that it can do its learning from two different points of view now. Exactly. It can get in its experiences different ways. But let's not take away from the thought that it is the same soul that has already uh, had some learnings all on its own, so there's going to be a lot that is the same as well. Yes. But how does this all work with the twin flame dynamic? <laughs> that, that sometimes gets a little bit tricky. It's all depending upon what was intended to be learned in this lifetime. Yes. So just to first go back a step, the answer is both. You're both the same and you can be opposites or different. Um, so that's the quick answer. And the long answer, before we actually get into the long answer, let's just explain in more depth, Rob was really explaining a lot about it, is that yes, you're the same soul, but because your soul has split into two, you've had two different experiences. Are you moving our love? Yes. Okay. <laughs> so you've incarnated in different lives. You've incarnated maybe on different planets. You've had very different experiences. For example, Rob and I, most of your previous lives have been like army and... Yeah, military lives. Military, life. yes. Military lives. Yes. Or, or laborer lives. Yes. Yes, either one of the two. Whereas most of mine that I remember are as a healer, as a um, nurse, I've, I've seen myself as a healer, like a quantum healing person in Atlantis, working with crystals. Um, I've seen myself in a life where, interestingly enough, it was a wartime, and I was one of the nurses working under one of those tents where you don't have a lot of stuff available to you. So we've had very opposite lives in previous lives and previous experiences. You missed one. What? Princess. Yes, I've been the princess. She's you... been royalty. And you've been the... Stable cleaner. Yeah, the worker boy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So why we can be different but also the same is because the universe is always working in a balance. So if you, one of you is in an extreme in one end, the other is going to be at the extreme in the other end to maintain that balance. So it's not at all uncommon for you to be very similar in some ways and very different in other ways. It's totally part of the, the process, part of being Twin Flames. Right now, Angie has got sparkles everywhere. There's earrings and she's got her hair all nicely done up. And she's in a black sweater and looking all spiffy. And my hair's sticking up all over the place. 
and I didn't even know if I straightened my eyebrows. So hopefully you can't see that. I'm going to fix them while I can. And I'm wearing an old white t-shirt. But yet, so we're, being we're us. We're, we're opposites. That's right. But yet we're still us. Yes. So we thought we'd elaborate too on some of the ways, just examples of how we are opposite and the same. And of course, they might be very different in your journey. But just to give you some ideas of how you can be very much different, but also very much the same. So we're going to talk about some of our differences first, just to give you some examples. And we've, we've got a whole list here, so we wouldn't forget about them all. We call this opposites or reflections. Yes. The mirroring thing. Mirror. Remember, we are mirrors for each other, right? So let's just explain a mirror. When you look into a mirror, you get the identical reflection back to you. But it's reversed. It's flipped, right? So the left becomes right and the right becomes left. So that's often how we as twin flames work. We reflect back to each other, but we reflect in an opposite way sometimes. Just like Angie right now is being very explanatory. She's trying to be very, very clear. And there's her mirror on her side. She can, she can see that. I'm going to be the opposite of explanatory and clear. I'm going to be difficult. Namely, I'm going to say that my side of the mirror didn't have any reflection, so I didn't get to see anything, where she got to see everything else. So I didn't even get a mirror in this. Okay. You're so brilliant. Okay, Not, so as opposites... Serious versus playful. So who's the serious one? Well, when we're doing a video, you're the serious one. <laughs> that's true. I, I turn all playful. Yes, that's true. Right before a video, I'm all serious, like, oh, okay, I gotta get this right. And she's like, yeah, hey, relax, it's all gonna be fine. I never even noticed that before, but that's totally true. Yeah. That's funny, so we're very opposite that way. Yep. But see, look at how that creates a nice balance. Perfect. And I'm an introvert, highly introverted, and you are... An extrovert. Totally extroverted. Until yeah. we get into the video and you take over That's being the true. extrovert. That's true. And I get to sit here being all quiet being <laughs> the introvert. You can often change these roles. I wanted to point that out. I didn't warn her I was going to do that. No, but it's very true, isn't it? That's, that's where I turn uh, into I being the that. playful side. Yeah. Spiritual versus matrix. Yes. Okay, I'll carry the matrix flag. Okay. With some spiritual. Oh, absolutely. You're always both, but one of you may be more dominant in one. For example, in our relationship, I have mostly always carried the spiritual. In other words, I've been more the 5D one that sees auras, connects with angels, lives in the 5D realm, whereas more Rob's like the grounded, earthy one, climbs mountains, very human per se doesn't mean he's not spiritual, doesn't mean he doesn't get it, but that's just the role he plays, and that gives us a good balance. If we were both like super 5D people, we'd be floating in the clouds all the time. He kind of grounds me, and I help raise him up, so yeah. it's, it's a really good balance. It certainly is. Yes. Organized versus messy. Who gets what? I want to hear what you have to say on that one. I've got nothing to say. <laughs> I get to keep the messy. <laughs> Well, we're both very organized in our own well, ways, but... Yes, I, I I, need to always have a little corner of mess where if I need to make a mess, I can just add to it yeah. without it spreading out all over the place. I don't like it when my messes are all over the place, but I can have I can have 10 square feet of disaster area, and I'm okay with that until it becomes time to clean that back up, especially when I lose something in it. Then all of a sudden, I get all serious. <laughs> And me being an introvert, my home is my sanctuary. That is where I spend the most time. So I need my space to be organized and clean and tidy. And so that's why organization is very important to me. And I'm also a nurse and a bookkeeper. So, you know, organization is very much a value of what those two careers do for a living. So I just like being organized. I also need to be organized at work, too. In fact, I think I allow myself some messy at home because I'm just sick and tired of being so organized at work. Oh, I, yes. Yeah, I, I've got to gotta have a little bit of balance in me where I can allow one or else I would drive myself absolutely crazy. Yeah. So it's probably why I have a messy corner at home. That explains it. Now you can justify it better. You think after all these years we'd have this all figured out, but we keep on learning things as we talk well, about Well, totally. Them. You're always learning. 
Okay, so what else are we? Lower energy versus higher energy. Yeah, we know who that one is. Yeah, you got all the energy in the world. No. Oh, okay. I have a bunch of energy. Yeah. Okay. This is a guy that can do three rounds of golf in one day. Walking. Walking. All of it. Are you kidding me? I'm like, I, I don't even like to do one full round of 18 holes. After 14, I'm starting to count down because it's the only way to get through it. I'm like, okay, how many more do we have to go? You can just keep going. I just start in the morning and go till night. You can climb giant mountains. Yep. Mm -hmm. I, or I could combine two in the same day. I could yeah, climb yeah. a mountain in the morning and go golfing in the afternoon. Yeah. Although it's better to golf first because when you're all tired, you don't tend to golf that well. Yeah. And not to say that I'm not high energy. I mean, I can do long hikes. We just did a huge long hike on our holidays a couple, well, a week ago, I guess, whatever it was. Yeah. So I can do that, but it's not, it's not my choice. It's not my desire. Whereas Rob's like, yay, let's go out and do a big hike. I'm like, let's not. But, you know, it's also about motivations, too. <clears throat> because Angie can get up and have six hours, let's say, of, of let's do a, a one-day blast on cleaning up the house, as an example. And she can get up in the morning after I've, let's say, gone to work on a Saturday she can spend six hours doing that stuff. My housework energy ends at about two hours. After I've done two hours of something around the house, I'm done. I feel like I feel like life is draining out of me. I'm finished. And that again is because it's our, our values are different, right? He is more of the extrovert, so his energy is high when he's out and socializing and being external. My energy is higher when I'm in my home because that's my sacred space. So I will have the energy to keep it maintained the way I like it. See, that's another another good point. Never quite really thought of it that way. Yep. I have all the energy in the world at home because your, I'm at home where I am fed. Your house cleaning is your energy cleaning. Yes. Very much so. Where my house cleaning is my... Drudgery. Well, it's my, hey, I've earned the ability to go out now and do something <laughs> else. So it's my it's my trade-off. It's my work before play. Ah, there, see? Feminine dominant versus masculine dominant. Now, that's kind of an interesting one because I've got a fairly good balance of both. We're both very balanced in both. Yeah. But I'm still more feminine dominant. You're still more masculine dominant. Yes. Yeah. That's a, that's a, real, that's a real tough one to explain. Because some people are just masculine or some people are just feminine. Yeah. Well, and that goes with our last question and answer video. Or I guess not our last, our second last one. Where we were talking about, we, we went through a list of feminine and masculine qualities and compared who had more of what, but we do both have a lot of both. Of both. Yeah. Dark versus light. I'm the dark person. No, you're not. Because I'm wearing white. <laughs> and she's the light person. She's the one that's got the pink and the sparkle, except for today where she's black. It's interesting how you interpreted dark versus light. Hmm. What's the only argument, per se, that we have almost every night? Oh, night. <laughs> you mean when I turn on every light in the house so that I can see yeah. every corner? And then I'm you... like, turn all the lights off. I can't stand the lights. Okay. So when we brush our teeth at night, there's like a, a light on, a night table light. And that's all I need. Rob wants to turn yeah. like the big bathroom light on. I'm like, yeah. Oh. She can, the night table's like seven feet from the doorway to the bathroom. And she just opens up the doorway and there's these shadows and lingering sprinkles of light. And she can actually hit the toothbrush with her toothpaste and negotiate in the dark and find stuff. I like the dark. It's calm. Being highly sensitive, too much light is just too much. <laughs> so we'll often negotiate. I'll be like, I'm almost done. Let me finish and then you can turn all the deck lights on that you want. <laughs> yeah. I'll come around the corner and go, oh, she's almost finished. So I will just stand out here and wait till she's done brushing her teeth. 
Then when she's ready, she can leave. I can turn on all the lights in the bathroom and, yes. and see stuff. And even in the winter time, when I'm home before Rob in the winter time, I'll have maybe like a little side light on and otherwise the whole house is pitch black. You wouldn't even know anybody's home. When Rob's home before me in the winter time, every damn light in the house is on. It almost seems like the house is glowing when you well, drive up the cul-de-sac. Every light in the house of where I'm at. No. Or or way. or where I've been in the past ten minutes. Oh or half hour. Yeah, okay. So there'll be four lights on in the bedroom and you won't have been there for But it could be going back in a few minutes. That's true. Maybe. <laughs> I lose the light war here all completely. There's light, dark. Okay. <laughs> Which is why I'm wearing or I'm wearing white and you're wearing black. <laughs> there we are. <laughs> eat a little versus eat a lot. Mm. Can't imagine when, who those are. Yeah, when we're having chocolate, I have a little bit and she has a lot. <laughs> a brat today. Oh, or that is true. Actually, that's not always true. <laughs> Friday night was a good example of who ate the most. I had one bar. Granted, yeah. it was your chocolate, but I had one bar of it and you had like, what, four? Three or four. Yeah. 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 Happens a couple times a year. See, now we're at the serious versus playful thing again. <laughs> um, yeah, generally I, I chow down to way, way, way more food. Yeah. But not as much as I used to. I can't do as much food as what I used to. Yin versus yang. Yeah. So you know the yin-yang sign, the black and the white, and they're all, I don't even know how else to do this. Like they're kind of all swirled together and they, we... then they make one circle. Yeah. Yeah. So you carry more of the yang, and I carry more of the yin. And I have to read the chart to remember which one's which. Me Sorry. too. Me too. So if I said that wrong, I apologize, because I, I tend to forget too. We have the chart on our wall. We've used it in many of our videos. In fact, I was going to bring it out for this one, just as another example. But... Or just so that I could remember properly. Well, that too. That's why I'm letting her talk, because I don't want to get it wrong. She can get it wrong all on her own. <laughs> it's okay. Now, some ways we're the same. Fire signs. Yes, we're both fire signs. I'm Aries, he's Leo. So we're both like very get it done kind of intense people. We're like super intense people. Yes. Yeah, we take people on holidays with us and I'm like, oh my God, relax, chill out. And we're like, what? Yeah, so much to see. We got yeah. uh, six hours and five hours worth of driving. We can catch everything with a couple of rest stops. Yeah. Let's go. If you're going on holidays, you got to do it all, man. That's us. Uh, <laughs> yes. So speaking of intense, that was next on the list. Yeah, we, mm, I can be super intense. Yeah, you're worse than me sometimes. But I can be worse than you sometimes with intensity. Yeah, when you're looking for <laughs> pictures of, to take of trains that say Union Pacific, we have a picture of her. That is intense. When we were on one of our recent holidays, I, I, we kept seeing the word union everywhere. So I started taking pictures of them to write a post for you guys and, and share this. And I haven't done this yet. But once I do, I'm going to then show you the picture that Rob took of me where I was like so intense. It was hilarious. The face that I had on, I was like, I'm looking, I can't wait to find this picture. It was like ridiculous how intense I was. We were in a train that was zipping along and there was, if there, if there was going to be an opportunity to take a picture, it was going to be about two to three seconds long. Yeah. So the focus was just incredible. I just calmly took my phone and went, click. Okay, I got that picture. It was a good picture. It was an awesome picture. I'll share it. Active. Yes. Yes. Both very active. Yeah. We golf and hike and do crazy jungle gym things and... That links with the with another word right there that says adrenaline junkies. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Complete. Well, before we even met each other, I had gone skydiving. I think two weeks before we met back in 1997, and I had already booked a trip to go whitewater rafting. And then the day after Rob and I met, he was going whitewater rafting, and he was a regular skydiver. So we were both doing these things without even having met each other. We're yes. total adrenaline junkies. We are. Yeah. We like fast race car things but, that go down hills. And, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but we also have differences in our adrenaline, too. Angie likes to have adrenaline spikes. 
where she enjoys the adrenaline and then calms her down. Where I like to be in a steady state of fairly high adrenaline. Mm. That's so, true, yeah. so we do like to have our adrenaline a little bit different. I like to have I like to have a half a dozen shots of adrenaline per week where you do one or two, you're happy. Yeah. But they gotta be very intense <laughs> adrenalines. Same but different. In the same category again, self-motivated, highly driven. Yes. Yes, we are. We we're hundred percent commit, go for it, get it done people. Very much so. Yes, we don't need a boss saying, you have to do this, or somebody motivating us. We're both just very internally driven, very highly self-motivated people. I, so I I'm know, very grateful for it. I know something's wrong when I go to my boss and say, do you have anything for me? Because I really hate to ask. I'd rather just find a bunch of stuff that needs to be done, that I can find, that I would rather be doing, as opposed to going to my boss's list. No, I'd rather keep it to myself. Yeah. And keep moving and still be appreciated for what I'm doing because it's important. Yes. And then along that same line, we're both very detail-oriented and very particular. I think I got the particular. No, I'm very particular too with my own things. So this is, again, one of those neat twists where you can be the same but different. And this is why we're giving you so many examples so you can look at your own relationship, your own connection, and understand how you can work together, but also honor each other's differences. For example, when Rob moved in, we had never, ever lived together. Even when we were together 20 years ago, we lived in the same apartment building, but never did we kind of spend um, like weeks just sort of living in one in person's one spot. place. Yeah, we didn't live in one spot no. while the other one collected dust. No, no. Didn't, didn't work that way at all. No, because we were in the same building, it was easy for each of us to go to our own homes, do our own thing, and then come back together. And besides, she needed her own space. Absolutely, yes. So when he moved in with me a couple of years ago, we'd never, we had no idea if it was going to even work because we'd never done it before. But yet it was so easy. It was <clears> like <throat> living with myself because we were so similar in so many ways, and the ways that we were different were easy enough to flow with. But being particular, I don't live well with a lot of people because I'm so particular. I like my towels folded a certain way. I like everything done a certain way. I like the dishwasher loaded a certain way. And everything we did was like, oh, okay, you do that too. And even if we weren't the same, we were at least understanding of, of the other, other person's differences. For example, when Rob does the laundry, I don't put his stuff away. He doesn't put my stuff away because we both are very particular on how our stuff is put away, but we're different in how it's put away. I wouldn't put his stuff away the way he would want it because he's he does it differently than I do. But we both respect and understand our ability or need for being particular. Yeah, it, the laundry thing works really well. All of the dirty clothes go in the same basket. That basket, usually I take downstairs, mm -hmm. and it all gets washed in the same load, mm -hmm. so water temperatures all work. Uh, a couple of pieces of clothing don't like to be dried, but I, I've been thoroughly instructed on which ones they are, and they get to sit outside on the dryer while everything else is inside the dryer. And then when everything comes upstairs, Two separate piles of clothes. She puts away hers. I put away mine because neither one of us can share that bit. Yeah. We could if we had to. I mean, I've folded your stuff before, and you've taught me how you like it folded. I would get your stuff quite wrong. You kind of would, but it's okay. Yes. So I, do you see I, how you can be the same but also be different? But because you understand yourself... You're able to respect where the other person is at and go, okay, so my way doesn't work for you. Fine. I can honor your way. It's all good. On the same side here, uh, hmm, I'd like to flip down to managers and entrepreneurs because the next one I'm going to need you to explain to me. Okay. Managers and entrepreneurs. I've been a manager for a lot of my career. I've, I've decided I didn't want to have my own business, but I would help somebody else run theirs. So I've taken on that responsibility as something that I would work for somebody else as if it was my own. Yes. And I'm very much the same. Any job I've ever been at, 
I don't just take it on as an employee. I take it on as if I own the business. That's just our nature. We're both very much that way. The next one, under same, appearance. Not you, you. You don't see that? We get told that so many times in in our pictures and comments because we're both blonde, we're both blue-eyed. Well, you we used to be blonde. <laughs> oh, no, one of us is trouble. one of us is gray. One of us is not. <laughs> one of us has a big ski jump for our nose. Another one's got it nicely proportioned. But overall, our faces look very, very similar. We've had so many people say, oh my God, you even look like twins. We both have big teeth. Yes. Mm. <laughs> we both just did the same thing. Oh, That's no. funny. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> um, and we're definitely both nurturers. Yes. Always have been. Yeah. 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 Always, you know, we're the ones that get it wrong on the airplane when they say, always put on your oxygen mask and then assist others. We'd be busy assisting others until we were passing out from lack of air and then we'd figure it out for ourselves. We'd get that totally backwards. Hopefully not. <laughs> <laughs> okay. You do the last one. This Snuggly. What are your favorites? Snuggly. Now, <laughs> we both are very snuggly, but where we are a little bit different in this regards is I'm more givey snuggly, <laughs> and she's more receivey snuggly. I did not know that you would throw a difference in there. <laughs> That's hilarious. <laughs> I you love give, give, I take. <laughs> yes, but we both enjoy the snuggles. Absolutely. When, uh, when, we, when we get a snuggle right, well, it's, it's perfection on both sides. <laughs> oh, blushing. That's so funny. Okay. Yeah. But what I meant too by snuggly is like I've been in other relationships where they don't even like to hold hands, and I'm like I can't function that way. I'm, we're and it's I mean look at us even now. Well, yeah, you well, probably you, can't. You can't. But our elbows About are our, touching our, even. Like elbows touching. We're always if we're near each other, we're always hugging, touching, kissing, holding hands, something. That's just that's us. just being connected and. I'm way more like that with you than I've ever been with anybody, but I've always desired to be that way, but I've just not always had partners that liked that. Except when she's highly focused, let's say, washing something in the sink, and I come along and I try to be all <sighs> snuggly, then, 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 then we'll call that bad timing. I'm distracted. I'm busy. <laughs> Or, and, or antenna to, shut down. When you go to grab me and I'm like on my way to my, do something. We're both highly task oriented. She's, so when I'm she's like on a mission. Doing something. She's walking by and I go snag, hug, and yet her feet are still trying to keep walking the way she's. Yeah, okay. Yeah. We're still snuggly. Yes, we are. So that just gives you some examples. Again, just to reiterate, yours may be totally different with your connection your twin flame and you might have very different similarities and very different differences but just so you understand that it's not at all common to have both some people think because they're twin flames they have to be absolutely identical in everything they think they do they say how they live absolutely not that would make life kind of boring really <laughs> you have to be different in some ways the piece that i always remember is that whether you're very similar or very different, or like we are, a mix of the two, it's very important that when the similarities and differences come along, it's still important to respect where the other person's at, who they are, where they need to be. Yes. When Angie needs introvert time, that's when I go work on a hobby somewhere. That's right. Yeah. Or go golfing all by yourself. Yep. Bye-bye. <laughs> yeah. When we've come back from a holiday, I am like ready for some space because we've spent like a week, for example, together most of the time. And possibly with a lot of other people at the same time. Yes. So, so. And when we come back from a holiday, you're even more like you've had like a whole week of togetherness. So you're Yay, all like, let's be together. Excited. Oh, we've only got eight more hours before we have to like pack it in and go to sleep and then get up and I got to go to work and not be near you. So let's spend eight more hours. Hours powering through the rest of this day before we go back to work. And I'm like, oh my dear God, I can't. Like, give me some space. It doesn't mean I love you any less. It just means I love me and I need some time alone. 
So Rob's just learned to honor that. He understands where we're different and I understand where we're different and we can each speak up for ourselves and say, okay, this is what I need. And then when you know why or how you're different, you can honor each other's places and allow each other to kind of find your own happiness in your own balance. So twin flames, opposite are the same? Yes. Both. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So okay. on that note, hopefully that answers a question and clarify some things with you guys. And unless you have anything more to add, I think we're Nothing else. good to go. We made it. Yes, we did. The same and the differences. Bye. Yes, we're going to say goodbye. We love you guys.